Now, the thick haze that recently blanketed much of the northeastern United States may have dissipated, but the problem at its root is far from over. On Tuesday, scientists warned that the wildfires in Canada have generated record levels of emissions that have now sent a smoke plume across the Atlantic to Europe. In a report by Copernicus, the European Union's program that observes Earth, scientists said that the Canadian wildfires have only intensified throughout June. The fires have been so intense that its radiative power emitted for the entire country was significantly higher in the first three weeks of June than the average from the past 20 years. Scientists estimated at least 100 megatons of carbon emissions from the wildfires that is now roughly equivalent to Indonesia's annual carbon dioxide emissions. These have comprised record levels of emissions, Copernicus said, and make up the largest annual estimated emissions for Canada in 21 years. The air pollution took a massive toll on the United States in the past few weeks as well, with the smoke causing extremely poor levels of air quality. Copernicus forecasters on Tuesday said that smoke from Canada hit Europe on Monday and is expected to keep moving east through Thursday. So we estimate with our, with our data set that fires in Canada for, for this year so far, so from the beginning of the year till the 26th of June or so, that um, they've emitted uh, an estimated 100, 160 megatons of, of carbon into the atmosphere, uh, which is already the highest annual total for Canada over that period. As of Monday, there are at least 493 active fires across Canada that have burned more than 7.7 .7 million hectares of land. According to the Canadian Interagency Forest Fire Centre, at least 259 of those fires remain out of control. Officials said in their latest dashboard numbers, which were updated on Monday. Copernicus says that the fires in Quebec and Ontario intensified last week, leading to what appears to be a strong episode of long-range smoke transport crossing the North Atlantic and reaching Europe. This wildfire season in Canada has proven to be a rare one thus far and even one of the worst in the country's history. And as the climate crisis escalates, scientists expect that the wildfire season will increase in severity, especially as droughts and heat become more common and more severe across the world. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.